So both microphones are dead, so we're going to have to... Good night, everybody. <laughs> AJ, uh, Coach, obviously you played a lot of freshmen today. Did you... Do you know how many you played, and was it the guys who intended all along to get them all in? I, I don't know without tabulating the, the plays. I know a couple guys that, that uh, were kind of on the ready-ready list were Jimmy Swain and Arion Springs that, that did play. Um, and then Tyrell, Royce, Charles, uh, Zach Schuler, who's obviously not a true freshman, but a, a, a guy with an available red shirt we, we anticip, anticipated playing. Um, did I say Tyrell Crosby? Okay, Tyrell Crosby. Uh, and then defensively, Austin, uh, Henry Mondew, uh, Arion, um, all, all, all were anticipated. Next question, right here. Hey, um, so how is today different than last year's home open? Like, how do you feel like you've grown over last year? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, again, hopefully we're smarter, but then we drop the ball going into the end zone and block a guy in the back as he's tackling the punt returner. So, um, you know, I think... I think our guys were anxious there at the beginning. A couple of silly mistakes. They're excited to play their first game. Uh, could have, you know, could have played a little bit smarter there to, to start things off. Um, but yeah, we need to, to get better in a hurry. Oh, I'm much better. You're much better. No, I don't. I have no idea. Steve, Mark, you start about those running backs, Royce. Thomas and, and Byron seem like whoever you put in there at kind of different spots, they're able to kind of find some yards and make some things happen each time they got the ball. Yeah, those guys, we think they're really good players, you know, and, and the, uh, Byron had a little bit different role tonight in terms of a, you know, a little bit more of a hybrid guy, a downfield uh, receiver threat. And that was just kind of by virtue of how they, you know, how they defended those formations. Uh, I think uh, Royce has that capability, you know, he just hasn't been here long enough to kind of add that, that next layer of, of development to his repertoire. Thomas has that availability as well. And then they're all they're all good just thumper running backs. And and you know Royce has a little bit probably maybe a little bit more shift in him than than the other guys. Uh, but uh, yeah we'll we'll just continue to, to develop all those guys and we'll need all of them. Warren Mark uh, a lot of people say the biggest jump in improvement is from game one to game two. What were some of the things that you were really pleased with tonight and then some of the things that you think you need to work on? Uh, defensively, uh, I you know I thought we started okay. I just didn't like our urgency. You know I thought I thought we we needed to create some of our own energy when they when, you know when they're sapping the the play clock down to one second and snapping the ball. When the ball snaps, we need to <laughs> strap it on and play, and that didn't always occur. Um, offensively, you know uh, we're we're shooting for perfection in every every way. I thought you know we could have hit the guy in the seam on the on the the ball that was kind of tipped and almost intercepted. Uh, you know, a few little nuanced things in the passing game, spacing wise, uh, and then we need to be sm smarter in special teams. Will, with Byron playing a lot of time in two back sets in the slot, is that he seemed to be the only guy really rotating around there? Is that by design, or do you really feel like eventually Thomas and Royce can, can play all those positions? I think the latter. I think eventually those other guys will, will just continue to develop. We've done that with them in, in fall camp, and it was kind of just by virtue of who we had the most confidence in combined with how they defend formations. Mark, what did you say to Byron after the ball flipped? We had a good discussion. <laughs> we give the ball to the official. That's all we do, which he did very well on the next touchdown. Hey, Jeff Lockie, the poison confident out there. Mm -hmm. How's he improved in, in your mind uh, from last year to this year? Just how I think he's playing. You know, he's just playing and reacting and, and, and playing with more urgency, being a smart guy. And, 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 and just instead of a lot of times smart guys, and we have a few smart guys, but Jeff's, you know, on the upper echelon of 4.0 in finance type type intelligence, and there's a little bit of over analysis that goes on trying to make it perfect and this that and you know it has to be perfect instead of just playing with urgent feet, balanced feet, and and ripping it. And he did a, a better job of that. I think Farrell Brown is still wide open in the back of the end zone on one. We had a little double move play that, that he could have made a lot easier. Uh, but uh, uh, pleased with his development for sure. Hey, Mark. Uh, Marcus seemed to have a pretty good chemistry with the running backs uh, through the passing game. Uh, I think more than half of his uh, completions went to running backs. But uh, with the receivers, you know, uh, Dwayne had that first catch. And then after that, uh, he kind of was 
uh, I don't know if he was targeted after that, but were you able to see kind of separation from the receivers after kind of what you saw in camp? We'll take a look at the film. I, I don't know yet. I thought I thought those guys all did really good things um, in the run game as well. Chance Allen had a key block on the, the long what should have been a touchdown by Byron Marshall was a huge block. Uh, Zach Schuler had a couple nice blocks in, in, in the run game. Uh, and so we'll take a look at that and, you know, kind of kind of parcel that out once we see the film. Mark, you made a reference to your defense. Uh, did you basically play a lot of basic defense tonight and not, not throw a lot at this team? And then the second part of that question is, how do you feel like your team is equipped to play a Michigan State, which has a really good quarterback, good running game? Yeah. Top flight receiver. Uh, on the first part, yes. Excuse me. We were, we were, you know, I would say trying to play fast and sound um, uh, defensively and not not overthink things too much. They, you know, presented some stuff in terms of, of um, some unbalanced formations, some two back and, and two tight end formations that we would probably defend a little bit differently um, in an ideal situation uh, going forward, and we'll do that. Um, and, and yeah, Michigan State is, is a, a, again, an excellent football team that is, is excellent in every phase. Coach, you talked about the anxiousness of some of the younger players, but it seemed like a lot of the veteran guys, Marcus, kind of setting the tone of the offensive line, coming out there and everything seemed kind of calm from their point of view, I guess. Uh, can you talk about how that set the tone for today and how that's going to be important going next week yeah I think that, you know anytime you can get off to a fast start and it was 20 was a 21 three or 21 yeah 21 three then 21 six you know you're a little bit more at ease but we want to keep pushing the tempo and keep putting you know putting those guys in, in in bad situations and I thought defensively we let them off the hook with a couple either missed tackles on third down or a couple little little hiccups that, that could have it could have been ugly er earlier um, and uh, you know we'll, we'll try to fix that to, as best as we can and what was the second part of that Marcus is. I thought, yeah, I thought our team handled that the whole the whole day pretty well. You know, they've been waiting an entire off season to get back out there, and and the anxiety of of sitting around all day, multiple days watching all these other games, and, and then finally getting to play. I thought we handled that okay. You know, some guys again made some mistakes, and and you know that's where you need your leaders to lead, and like you said, play well. Couple more questions. Did you get uh, an exclamation on the end sportsman like uh, first touchdown? Not. Uh, not, no. Oh, I mean, they, 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 I had a couple different. It, I, yeah, I don't want to get into that. Get in trouble. Uh, one more. Sure. I'll ask about the receivers, Mark. Obviously, Byron in a little bit different role. Pretty sound catching the ball. Mm -hmm. And then I think all your other guys, uh, Chance, Darren, Farrell, Dwayne, a lot of other guys caught the balls. Overall, that receiving core, how, how did they do? Okay, here's the problem because Dwayne Stanford did catch the ball, right? We got a stat error. We got a stat error. He he was the guy that caught the touchdown, right? Come on, man. Or what I have. Um, yeah, I thought those guys again played well, and I really like our receivers. They they need to to develop quickly and mature quickly, and we'll, we'll force feed them as, as much as possible. Got the edited version or no? Okay. Um, I was gonna try to look at how many guys caught balls. This is the quickie stats. The regular stats, that's a lot of dudes catching catching balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, eleven guys between, you know, the tight ends and the and the backs and throwing in the they've got the hooper and the track star and we're trying to trying to recruit Liz Brenner to catch one more next week. <laughs> Good vision, that sort of balance though as opposed to a huff and it just depends, you know. It, it obviously in a game like this, you're going to try to play everybody and get them involved. Um, and it just depends on how the how the game, both from your standpoint, how how you game plan and how they they kind of dictate or teams are able to dictate to us to a certain extent where the ball's going. We'll, uh, you know, if we score with the tailback, we'll take that. If it's a tight end or wideout, we'll they count the same. Thanks, coach. All right, thank you.